this lesson we will uh, cover unified modeling language that actually um, give us a standard way of visualizing um, our programs. Okay, most popular one is class diagram. Actually, I show it to you um, using very similar official class diagram. Next one is uh, object diagram. So, class diagram visualize design of class templates of uh, program. Here I may say uh, of a system. Uh, object diagram visualize design of objects based on a class template of a system. So idea is if you use standard uh, class diagram or if you know how to use a standard class diagram you should be able to uh, do software development uh, a lot easier because we are using same rotations So let me give you one example. Previously, I used a very similar class diagram to visualize class. So let's say we have a book class, consists with uh, title, also price, and ISBN as uh, data fields. So class diagram saying that we have uh, three blocks. The first one uh, referring to class name. Second one refers to data field. Last block include constructors and methods. So let's say default constructor. Here the first one is uh, default constructor. Uh, constructor with one parameter with a uh, title which is uh, of course a uh, string then uh, normally we have uh, two set of methods one is get title set title get also set also and so on for space I will just say uh, get title and set title again set title we have uh, Formal parameter, title, and data type. And then return type is, of course, is void. So when you design your class diagram, we uh, identify name of a class and then behavior for objects. So here we have four data fields title, also price, ISBN. And then uh, for operations, we have uh, two constructors, and then uh, here, in this case, we have uh, one pair of methods that match with the uh, title. So we have three blocks, class name, data field, next one, constructors, and then a uh, set of methods. That's the minimum we need to identify when you draw a standard class diagram.
Let me show you an object diagram. This is how I uh, visualize objects previously. We have an object reference variable called book1. And then that refers to um, class name book. Let's say we have a default constructor with one parameter saying uh, title is Java. We have a second object. Uh, I'm going to use the same constructor with a title. So again, we are referring to book class. Uh, our, our object name is book2. They refers to title happen to be C. And the UML uh, object diagram. This is uh, on your left hand side. It's called uh, class diagram. And then on your right hand side, I'm going to say uh, object diagram. I will show you uh, official object diagram. It's a very similar to what I have. So book one object name and then uh, name of the class that refers to and then here and then uh, data field and then value also share with that, that, that data field so if you construct object book one and that object has only one value in it this is how you draw object diagram again book two also same object name class name then uh, title equal to C. Again, we have uh, two objects. Uh, that's what we call as an object diagram. That's a class diagram. So what I have in the middle, that's my own uh, rotation for objects and then uh, class okay so just have a look then uh, let me just add one more thing here I forgot to put uh, data type that should be string again this is should be a double for data field it is necessary to identify a uh, data type Again, it's a design of a class template. So then uh, let me just add one more thing. You need to identify um, access modifier so that you can see uh, whether it's feasible outside the classroom or not or outside the package. For convenient, okay. There's a two constructors, two methods. By default, uh, data field we should declare as a private. We use the symbol minus. That refers to a private access modifier. Minus. Private. Normally, by default, constructors uh, declare as a public plus symbol. Again, methods all declare as a public plus symbol and plus symbol. So that's the final version of a class diagram for book. This is what we had previous uh, with the previous lesson, Smart TV. So as we can see, it's incomplete. So you can stop the video clip for a while and try to think about it. What is the correct uh, object? Sorry, a class diagram. So the first one is name of the class, data field, and then constructors and method should be put in the same block. Class diagram, we have only three blocks, okay? Class name, data field, constructor, and method goes together. Again, these all by default, 
private method, sorry, a private access modifier. So I'm using minus symbol. Data type, it was an int. Also, this is an int. Uh, this one happened to be premium data type. Again, next one, premium data type. So we have two constructors. Second constructor, we need to include data type. So we say uh, channel, include integer. Next one, volume int. And the next one is y5, Boolean and then power premium. So we have uh, two constructors here, one default, uh, one with uh, all data field as a formal parameter. Get channel, uh, we remove that semicolon. We don't put semicolon in a class diagram. So let me remove them all. Okay, um, let me add more information uh, here, get channel, return type is int, set channel, the channel should have a data type. And then it has no return type, so we say uh, void. Again, same story, get volume int, set volume, uh, I will say int, then no return type, so void. Again, this is a uh, brilliant. Let me use um, something more specific instead of say on and off. And uh, this should be Y5. I just described it last time somehow. Uh, it should be Y5 if you refers to data field. Then uh, bring your data type. Again, no return. Again, uh, let me re remove on and off and then change to power which is the uh, Boolean data type and then no return types of void. To string normally void. So uh, that was a class diagram. Let me revise uh, object diagram. Because once you design a class diagram, if you pass this UML class diagram to someone else, you may like to give them uh, at least one or two sample objects. So open we draw object diagrams as well. So we have an object name called smart tv one refers to smart tv class. 
and then let's say um, dummy data happened to me channel one basically saying um, we have, we like to in indicate default value volume on y5 unless someone says something we say uh, false let me make uh, some space Again, power is off by default. So we have one object called Smart TV One. Again, that refers to Smart TV. I will do the same thing. Um, Sometimes we can construct object uh, with a different behavior. In this case, uh, we have Wi-Fi is true, power is on already. So this object, we should be able to turn it off. So we have uh, two objects. Object has uh, different states, especially uh, Wi-Fi and power, okay? So here you go, two objects. Again, uh, if you look at right-hand side, that's my rotation for objects and variables. We, I, I locate uh, one memory space per channel, volume, Wi-Fi, and power. And then uh, object reference variable point to a uh, smart TV. Almost identical. So let me just show you. Uh, if you look at NetBeans in your left-hand side corner, what we create as a navigator. The class name appears clearly, Smart TV to constructors according to your UMA class diagram. And then, uh, if you look at here, again, the coding is consistent. You have a set of methods that refers to get channel, set channel, and so on. You have a four data fields, channel, volume, Wi-Fi, and power. It also has a, a data type clearly in, uh, indicated so that's that's exactly what I mean by if you know how to draw standard EMA class diagram anybody know how to read a standard diagram they should be able to identify okay classes and objects and so that they can design so uh, let me just um, add my own rotation because some of you already watched previous lessons so here I say um, channel 1 similar to the official object diagram, Wi-Fi false, and then power false. But when I started at the beginning, all these variables I use a small memory block with our equal signs. That means that we have a small memory block the channel. And then we have a value number one, value number one, and false and false. That's the uh, my rotation for object, reference variable, and then variable. So if you compare with official one and my own rotation, um, it is pretty much the same. Okay, this is a UML unified model language object diagram. This is my own way of drawing object 
send them parable or visualize it. Okay, there is one mistake. Uh, if you look at it here, we have two string method as a string. Uh, but when I look at my UML class diagram, actually I declare it as a void. So let me change to a string. So that will be consistent uh, with the coding and then diagram. So that's all, I think. Thank you. That's all.